Hi, I am Andres and this is Androtics, a channel for creating robotics and AI projects. In this video I have to make all the electronics of the robot, so let's go for it! Ok, the first thing we need is to have different voltage levels. My power supply provides 24 volts. So I bought this step down with 4 channels. We're connecting the 24 volts I get 3.3, 5, 12 and a channel for adjusting the voltage. Once I have all the levels I need, let's see the electronics that I will use with two different Arduino boards. The first board is an Arduino Mega, which will handle the state and security of the robot. The second one is the Arduino Duo, which will handle the control of all motors. There are four main components in this diagram. The first one is the Arduino Mega, which will measure the current state of the robot. There are four possible states. Stopped for some emergency that might occur where the motors won't have current. Paused where all motors will post in the current position without moving. Running meaning that the robot is correctly working. An error where an error might occur. Following the diagram, we have an emergency button to stop the robot. Pushing this button, we are in the stopped state and the motors won't have any current. Then we have the post button. By pushing the green button we pause the movement of the robot. Finally, we have this little OLED screen with size 1 inch. It is connected to the Arduino with the I2C interface. This screen will show the state of the robot at any time. This Arduino Mega will communicate with the Arduino Duo by serial communication. The Arduino Duo will handle the control of the 12 motors. Here I just paint one for simplicity, but we have to do the same 12 times. Basically, we have the Arduino Duo connected to the PC, receiving instructions and sending information about the potentiometers. Also, it will be connected to the Arduino Mega as I said before. Then we find the motor driver, which has connected three wires. One is a PWM to regulate the speed of the motor, and the other two to control the direction. The motor is connected to this driver. Then the potentiometer associated with this motor is meant to measure the position. The idea is the same as a servo motor actually. The Arduino Duo just works with 3.3 volts, in difference with the Arduino Mega which works with 5. For this reason we needed the different voltage levels. Ok, that's all! Let's start! These are all the tools and materials that I'm gonna use. Basically a soldering iron and a bunch of wires. I'm starting placing all the components in different 3D printed platforms. This is in order to fix them to the torso of the robot. Here we see three drivers for six motors of the two front paws. I need the same for the two paws in the back. In this platform, I fixed the two Arduino boards and the step down board. The OLED screen is fixed to this plastic cover. And finally, we have the two emergency buttons. 
Okay, perfect. Let's fix everything to the torso. And here it comes the power supply. In the future a battery will be replaced in this space. Once we fixed all the components to the torso, it is time to connect them with wires. I'm using the fact that the aluminum bars are empty to put inside the wires. Right now I have the robot face down. This aluminum part with holes is like the spine of the robot, which will carry all the wires to each paw. I'm 
Walking alone in the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town Okay, everything is connected. I have to say that it takes more time than it seems, but it's not complicated. The thing is try to not get confused with the wires. Okay, everything is connected and it should work. In the next video I will start with the funny part of the project, at least for me, which is the motor control and the Arduino programming. Okay, this is the end of this video. I hope you like it and subscribe for more updates in this project. See you next time. Bye!